I'm Sanford Robinson, and I love classics. My first car was a 70 Chevelle. It was the first major purchase that I'd ever made. Oh gosh, that was the proudest drive of my life. When I'm, when I'm driving around in my Chevelle, I feel just like I did the first day that I brought my first one home. I feel great driving it. This is my old house right here. And each night I would take a walk for exercise. Cliff's house was down the hill on the corner. He has a 70 Chevelle in his driveway. I love Chevelles. He would come and tell me, um, there's a car. There's a car parked outside. I was like, well, go see it. I'm like, it's a car, right? I would come around the corner and come back up the hill back to my house. So I could look at it once going this way and I could look at it once heading back to the house. I'm admiring his 70 Chevelle and he comes out of his garage. I seen that gentleman keep staring at this car sitting in the driveway. This guy's gonna be upset. I've never spoken to him. Probably because I look like a grouchy old man he didn't want to deal with. He says, well, if you think that's nice, you ought to come and see what I'm working on in the garage. He's working on a, a, a frame off restoration on a 70 El Camino. And when we start talking to each other, we started finding all these things we have in common. He said he was putting the car together and, and building it so that he could take it to Barrett Jackson to sell it. I said, I work Barrett Jackson. He's like, really? I said, yeah. And that was the beginning of a, this is a wonderful, wonderful friendship. Hey there, boss man. How you doing? All right. Nice all seeing right. you. So that's the Chevelle. Right. The one that I drooled over all the time. And then this is a, the Chevelle going away. Yep. Being sold at Bear Jackson. <laughs> I'm almost afraid to touch it. Touch it. <laughs> we got ragged right, we can wipe it down. <laughs> Don't you get in there and start that thing? Yeah. Ah, that's what I'm talking about. So anytime there's bad weather, I'll call him yep. and check on him. I get a call from him before I get a call from my dad. <laughs> <laughs> I do. It's not all about cars. Just if I can see yours some more. <laughs> <laughs> it is amazing how a car can, how a classic car can connect people's lives like this. Something about a classic car, I've seen it connect people of all races, young, old, black, white, Hispanic, Asians. As you're, you're, you're now you're trying to unite people with something you like and the passion you have, love of cars. And it don't make a, what race you are, it doesn't matter. There's such a huge need for healing. There's a huge need for camaraderie, true camaraderie again.